think where imaging has uh, made another contribution other than our understanding of the reading brain and the brains of people with dyslexia is that it's heightened awareness. I think it's often uh, hard uh, for people to accept that there may be a problem and I mean anybody. I think as a parent when you have a child who's a struggling reader you're always doubting yourself. Are you just been, maybe are you being impatient? Maybe you don't know enough about it uh, and, and it's hard to know uh, and I think uh, sometimes people believe uh, that there is no such thing as dyslexia and again it helps to know that it really is a, a true phenomena uh, and so I think it's helped raise awareness I think it's helped raise understanding and I certainly hope it's helped those who have dyslexia understand that their brain is different it's certainly something that we emphasize when our children come to our studies when they come out of the scanner we have them take a look at their brain and it's not unusual that a child will say so uh, where is my you know, where's my parietal cortex or where's my visual word form area because they have already tuned in to the fact that their brain is different and it's not their fault and, and everybody's brain is different and their brain just isn't all that well designed to allow them to learn to read as quickly as that of their friends.